talk about it, except for me, right, Jane? Yeah. I love talking about it, actually, but we all do it, and you know what I'm talking about. Ryan, stop laughing. It's number two, but what's normal and what's not normal? Here with the stinky truth, health and wellness expert, AD Dauphin. Hi, AD. Hey. Good to see you. I'm so happy to be here. Well, we're glad to have you because I like to get to the bottom of this poopy situation. Let's do it. So here's how we're going to do this. We're going to play Fact or Fiction. Ryan is hanging out with the audience, and uh, you guys ready to answer? Okay, so we have this audience, but our at-home audience, we want you to weigh in, too, with our polls. They are open right now, so let's start with the very first statement. Here we go. Poop consists of 50% undigested food and 50% water. All right. I'm going to go with uh, fiction. That sounds about right. No, I'm going with fiction. Okay, I'm, I'm going to say fact. fact. Of course, you can vote at uh, windycitylive.com slash vote. Okay. So that's where you're going to go. Okay. Uh, AD, is it fact or fiction? It is fiction. Yes! Oh! Let's see, what did you vote <laughs> Oh, darn. <laughs> wow. Believe it or not, uh, <laughs> basically, uh, poop, what I call the movement, uh, yeah. basically it contains about 75% water, 25% um, bacteria, cells, mucus, undigested food, and that's the honest truth. That's oh, the honest truth. Okay, honest truth. well, a lot of people got that wrong, too. Yeah. <laughs> I hope okay. nobody's eating lunch right now during the show. <laughs> All right, here's the next question. Is it normal to have one to three movements a day? One it is. Three. It is one normal to have one to three? Okay, That's we're going to give people time to weigh in at uh, You know what? I'm going to say this is fact, but this doesn't happen to a lot of people. I mean, three, <laughs> up to three. I, I, I know somebody that's like that. Well, then you're constantly going to the bathroom all day long. But that's what you should be doing. On top of, like, going number one? <laughs> okay, let, sorry. All right. Let AD, AD fact or fiction? That is a fact. Yeah. That is a fact. Yeah. Uh, impossible. Uh, Hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Believe it or not, basically, if you eat three times a day, you should have two to three bowel movements a day. Okay. But unfortunately, the average American only has three to five a week, and that is simply not enough and not healthy. But how do you have more then? It's what you eat. It's what we put into our body. So we're talking about eating more fiber, uh, things like squash, apples, fresh fruits and vegetables. That's going to make you go have that movement a whole lot more. Has everything to do with what you're eating. Mm -hmm. What about caffeine? Is caffeine good? No. Caffeine is not good for you. <gasps> but that's, that's what works for me. People that's why live I on have it. my coffee. People live on it, but it's technically not good for you. I thought the magnesium you. in the coffee helps you There's have movement. In, caffe well, it can help you have a movement, but let's do something healthier, mm. which is have fresh fruits, vegetables. I also have little tricks to help you have more movement. Okay. One thing I would add is that a little bit of warm water in the morning okay. and a little bit of lemon juice and begin moving around. You That's going to help you I have a movement. I don't want to move around in the morning. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let me tell you something. What? Not a lot of, he's not talking about exercising. Mm -hmm. Sometimes in the morning, I would drink just a little bit of water, okay. sometimes yeah. lemon, sometimes a little apple cider vinegar. Okay. And just me moving and making the just kids breakfast. Around. Oh, okay. You know so what I, I like mean? I like to literally roll out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, that was good. Okay, it takes up to three times longer to digest gluten than whole fruits and vegetables. Okay. Hmm. Uh, oh, God, I don't know that one. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see what the audience is saying. Um, By the way, the last question the audience got right. I'm going to go with fiction, just because you said fact. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's see. I can't even see what <laughs> What? They didn't even, you can't even what? see it because the poll question's covering it up. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Okay, oh my so God. what is this fact or fiction? I forgot what we said. <laughs> it, was a, it was about gluten. Okay. And, and to be honest, it's absolutely 100% fact. Okay. Oh. <laughs> and you know what it is? Let me explain to this. A lot of times people talk about gluten. It's a new word nowadays, mm -hmm. and people don't even know where it came from. It actually comes from grains. So that's like the wheat, the barley, the uh, the breads, things of the rye, all of these things. That's where you're going to find gluten, and it's very difficult for your body to process it. It takes three times as long. Also, I would add is meat takes longer. Also, processed food, complex sugars, all of these things. Everything that we eat can basically affect us. So we can literally eat our way healthy. We just gotta start making healthier choices. Mm, right. Okay, well 71% of our audience got that right. Okay, here is our next question. You should drink a gallon of water a day and Miss Val Warner carries a jug 
of water around with her every day. Every I hear a winter. lot of people say this is fact, so yeah. I'm going to go right. fact. It's fiction. <gasps> it's fiction? It is. But let me explain why. So when it comes down to how much water you should drink, we all are different. So you're different than me. So basically, it's really based on body weight. You take your body weight, you divide it by two, that tells you the number of ounces that you should drink. If you were to drink a gallon of water, that means you weigh 256 pounds. Mm. Okay, what if you weigh 160 pounds? How much water should you drink? So you would divide ounces. that by two. So therefore, you're talking about what? 80 ounces a day. So that's what you should drink. Okay. Mm. Which is how many gallons? Like, yeah, that's, that's, no, no, so that's a about, gallon. That's is about eight cups of water. Oh, eight cups. That's eight it? cups of water. Yeah. That's okay. it. Yeah. That's, not one, vodka, <laughs> that's not vodka, G. <laughs> that's not vodka and water. <laughs> that's what I was about to ask. That's what I was about to ask. Okay. Uh, this is another good one. I'm not sure. I don't know how our audience did on that. Did they do? Did they? Okay, yeah. so your at home artist yeah. is smart. Yeah. All right, swallowing too much air causes gas. Oh, I'm gonna say true. No, I'm gonna go in fiction. I'm that gonna can't go be with true. fiction. Along with that. along with beans, right? Beans too, and oh, cabbage. Having too much beans, beans causes gas. Well, yeah. Like beans and beans, cabbage. Beans, beans, good for your heart. The more you eat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know what the rest is. Ad, is this fact or fiction? Um, it is actually. A fact. <gasps> oh. I'm striking out in this quiz. <laughs> <laughs> okay, swallowing too much air can cause gas. Absolutely. How do it's you swallow fact. too much air? The things that you do, let's say smoking, uh, uh, drinking out of a straw. Oh. Mm. All of these things put more oxygen within your body, so therefore it creates more air. The way that you can remedy that is exercising. Another thing that you can do is learning how to, when you have that movement, don't sit flat. You actually need to arc your legs up a little bit. There's a, little, there's a few devices out there that actually help you do that. It's a squatting position. I'll be and right that's going to help you with that. I'll be right back. <laughs> it's a squatty potty? That's, that's, and that's what it does. So it lifts your legs up and puts you on basically a different angle, which is more natural for your body. Wow. wow. 59% of our audience got that right. 59%. Yeah. The audience is doing it today. Yeah. The, uh, there, yeah. On. You guys did a good job too, but that whole audience is killing it. All right, AD, what you got there? So basically here, so we talked about colon movements and things like that, we have the full body cleanse. This cleans out all your major eliminative channels, your gallbladder, your heart, your liver, your colon, your spleen, your lungs, your kidneys, your adrenal glands, your blood and your skin. And most of all, it's definitely gonna help that colon. So therefore, <laughs> so therefore we're talking about movements. This is gonna intensify your movements. All right, AD, thank you so much.